Hey you guys, welcome to this episode of The Rachel Cruz Show, and I'm selfishly very excited about this episode. <laughs> um, we're going to be talking about growing your own food. So yes, we are. May freak you out. Stay, stay with us uh, because we have the experts here. Heather Whitaker is with me, and she's part of Whit Farm. And I, okay, on Instagram, okay. your bio, which mm-hmm. I had to write down because I was like, I don't want to butcher this because it's it's so good. Yeah. Just because you're in the burbs doesn't mean you can't be a farmer, and just because you're a farmer doesn't mean you can't travel. Amen, hallelujah. All right. Okay, so I can't wait to talk about this subject. Me Uh, neither. I'm so excited. I know, I know. Okay, so first off, tell me, like, where did your passion for growing all your own food, where did it come from? I think it began um, when I wanted to buy organic, and at that time, we couldn't afford it. Yes. Um, And so I began to— do a little research and found a farm here um, that does a, like, you volunteer for four hours, and then they give you a whole CSA. So, you know, like the CSA box where you get, like, yes. you know, everything, and you're like, what do I even make with this? <laughs> but, totally. like, they gave you this whole thing. So every week I would go and volunteer for four hours, and I would get all this produce for free. And so I did that for four years, and I began oh to gosh. learn, oh, I actually can do this. I actually can build the boxes and— get my own food. And so that kind of where it began. We bought a house. So then I started to, you know, slowly build and create. And every year it gets bigger. And I try to not, but it just does. And that's so it. Excited. Yeah. So, okay, so how, how, because you guys live. We in literally Nash- live in a suburb of in Nashville. Yes. yes. Uh, so I know we live on a half acre lot. So, and yeah. then there's the house and then there's a whole other side that we don't use. So Maybe a quarter. Yes. Maybe. But we do have some chickens and ducks that kind of take up a little corner. Some, you know. I love it. Fruit trees and pumpkin patch and garden. All it, right it there. It just keeps growing. Okay, yeah. so does your does your family, do they love it? Like, does your kid, because you, you guys have three kids. Like, do they go out there and help? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Only like because I have teenagers. But back when we first moved there, Losiah was probably like, 10, and he yeah. was out there helping, but yeah. no. no okay. They're like, yeah, right. They want the, you know, the fresh salsa. They want the things for the smoothies and the berries and whatnot, but they are not. Okay, so this is like your thing. Mm-hmm. Like, you're, you're like, it's your it's your mm-hmm. project mm-hmm. and all that. And I love how it came out because I think a yeah. lot of people, you guys watching and listening to this, like, there is something so true. The grocery bill is the thing that yeah. everyone, we always go over budget. Mm-hmm. Things are so expensive. And even right now, as we're filming Mm -hmm. this, things are just, it's out of control. Like, it is so, so expensive. So, when you want to eat healthy, a lot of people want to do that for their families. So, in order to, like, bring all that together, the idea of, like, yeah, growing your own food. Okay, do you feel like it is more economical after, because we're getting into this. We were talking Mm -hmm. right before we started Mm -hmm. shooting. That Winston and I, that's like kind of our new Come spring on, so project. Yeah. I know. And he's gear, he's like leading the okay. way. It was not okay. really my idea, but he was like, I think we can do let's this just, and yeah. all this stuff. So we're kind of excited. It's like our new project. Uh-huh. So we're going to build the boxes, all of that. But I was like, and again, I've not priced anything out. So you'd probably yeah. know more than I would. Mm-hmm. Is it more economical? Like I would think at the after like so many years, it has to be, right? Okay. So I did a little math. Okay. So logically— Let's let's take a Roma tomato. Yes. What you make a salsa out of, right? Or yes. tomato paste, tomato sauce. Typically, a packet of of seeds. You get like twenty five. It's between one to three dollars. Okay. So let's take the average of th- the high three dollars. Each plant can produce up to two hundred tomatoes. Oh my gosh. So you do that <laughs> plant like that's like five thousand tomatoes for three dollars. <laughs> so logically, <laughs> yes, it's a great you know like it, it has the potential. However, when you start getting into fancy boxes and the fan, you know what I mean? Like like yeah. any hobby, you can totally. There's a scale. Go crazy. There, yes. there, there's you know. So I I began. Um, I had a plot of land, like just a side yard between the neighbor's driveway and my driveway. Yes, and I just didn't do anything to it. I literally put a tomato plant in it. Yeah, like I did not go out and build boxes. Uh, my neighbor was cutting down a tree and I'm like, can I have some of those limbs to kind of like make a square? Yes, right. Yes. So I did. So like we have evolved, like the wet farm has evolved. Now I have fences and I have, you know, all the things sure. because each season I get a little bit more or whatever. But when I started, it literally was a plot of grass that I took out and yeah. put a tomato Maybe That's right. Jalapeno. Like I wanted to grow salsa. That's what I wanted to grow. Yes. Yes. And amen. so that was. Yeah. That was. That's where it started, that's and that's what it, it could be, right? And then as you're saying, Absolutely. the more you yeah, involve, yeah, yeah. the more you're like, so, okay, I can. So yes, it is 
so much better. Like uh, the a little tiny seed can produce thousands, right? And yep. so that math equation is ridiculous. It's sure. by far. And even the fact of like starting your own seeds versus buying the plants, like yes, it, uh. there's a little bit of investment of getting like the right soil to like start a seed. But when you take one plant and you, or you get a packet for $3 or you, with 25 seeds, or you go and buy a plant that is mm-hmm. $2.99, one, you know, like the, yes. Totally. It's going to, yeah, the the, mm-hmm. the the doing it completely yourself yeah. from the beginning with just time. the seed, yeah. You can also go overboard and spend a ridiculous amount of money. Sure. But, yeah. I love it. I think it's, I, I'm so excited for you. I know, I know. I'll be yeah, honest. There was like a little bit of the conspiracy in me that was like, what if <laughs> in like five years we had to like just live on our, live in our little yard? What would we do? And I was like, Winston can hunt. And yeah. what if we had a garden? I'm like, garden. we could live off of tomatoes. And it, we, mean, you know, we well, can figure it out. We can figure it out. Okay. Can. So, okay, what, I want to know, what are the easiest things to plant? Okay. Because I have two. I get that question all the time, yes. right? And and it's kind of a mix. It's kind of depending on where you live. So I can tell you because you live here, but yeah. I can't tell the person that lives in Wisconsin, right? 100%, like, yes. So those that kind of depends on where you live. And then also, what do you like? Like, I can say grow radishes, but if you hate radishes, why would you grow radishes? Yes. You know? Yes. So I think for me, I started, I grew up in California, and there, there's just nothing like a California grown strawberry. Like mm-hmm. there's just nothing. I've tried for, you know, the 15 years that I've been gone to find that strawberry and it wasn't until I like had a homegrown strawberry that I was like, oh, here you like, are again. It. So like strawberry plants, pretty easy. Really? Yeah, pretty easy. Why did I think fruit was harder? Just in my Strawberries, head? raspberries, blackberries here in the South. Seriously? Yes. Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna have vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I think fruit was an option. No. Uh-huh. <gasps> okay, mm-hmm. we're doing okay, mm-hmm. gonna do some fruit. Yep. Okay, yep. that's good. Yep. That's good. So those as far as like Which that fruit. saves my I mean, do you know how much money I spend on fruit, Heather? And raspberries, that's a thing. Oh, like a little thing at, oh. a little thing and you get it makes me sick. So much. It makes so, me sick. My kids so eat it. You have to have sitting. the space and you have to trellis it, whatever, but like yeah. it's so you can do it. <gasps> okay. Um, so those are great bang for your buck. Yes. Fruit, those fruit things because you get so much more. And the great part is that they live in Tennessee. They keep reproducing. Like you, you plant one and then they grow multiple ones. So like you're set. Love it. Um, and then as far as vegetables, vegetables are hard because I say grow what you will eat. So depending on what you eat. But for me, hands down, tomatoes are for sure. Yep. Um, uh, pepper, poblano peppers. I love poblano peppers. Yes. Um, Jalpenos, are those easy? Those are those are easy. Okay. Uh-huh. So a pepper. I actually also grow um, tomatillos. Do you know what those yes. are? Yes. Yes. So it's a, the green yes, salsa. Yes, totally. Yeah. Again, I wanted to grow a salsa garden. Like that's at the beginning yes. was what I wanted. Uh, but I also make kimchi. And so I also grew cabbage. Mm-hmm. So I, it's it's what you love. Like so I, think, I think, I um, think, Tomatoes are easy. Peppers are easy. They're kind of like the safe ground. Um, is then, lettuce easy? Lettuce is actually easy. However, you have to continue to, I forget to go out there and pick it. Okay. Like I just, but it's yes. easy. Lettuce yep. is fairly easy. Yep. However, you are going to probably get some kind of bugs in lettuce. So you, okay. if you're okay with that, which that's just, Nature, yes, right? Yes, um, we're living off the land, yep. people. We're living mm-hmm. off the land. Green lands. beans, I think, are pretty easy. Green beans are uh-huh. are simple. Garlic has been easy for me, yes. and then herbs. Cloves so, of garlic, mm-hmm. like okay. Uh-huh. Are they ro- a mask on? Is that a root? Is it come off a plant? Where's the clove of garlic? It's a bulb, so it go- it's underneath. Underneath, underneath and you the pick ground. it up, and uh-huh. there it is. And then you put uh-huh. aluminum foil, some olive oil, and you roast uh, it. Do you know how many people so like? When I post about asparagus, they're like, I didn't know asparagus grew like that. I'm like, how do you people, like, so many people don't know how their food is. We got, <laughs> we got, we got, got some nothing. education to do, guys. <laughs> but, yeah, so those, I mean, I think, honestly, tomatoes, uh, green beans are great. Cucumbers are easy to grow. Zucchini are easy to grow, but they also have a lot of pests. So, like, they they grow easily, they produce a lot, but they also have a lot of pests that can come in. So, okay. like, it's a it's a, it's a little bit of a it's gamble. It's a hard, yeah, mm-hmm. it's a gamble. Okay. So. How's the okra? I tried okra this last year for the first time. Did it um, easy? It was fine. Here's the problem. Remember my bio about the travel part? Yes. So, for me, my garden has, like, that harvest time kind of has to be like a tomato, where you can harvest it kind of young or kind of old and it still be 
good. Yeah. Like, I could be gone a week and, and be okay. Like, okra, you have to pick within one or two days or else it gets woody. Okay. So for me, I found that it was really hard. It's actually a beautiful plant. Like, the flowers and everything are beautiful, and it wasn't hard to grow. But I traveled, so I kept missing the, like, the, the right time. Yep. And so I don't know if it's coming back. Yes, that's a great, okay, that's a great point. Yeah. Because part of this is, like, it feels low maintenance. Because you yeah. say, like, mm-hmm. you can still travel. Mm-hmm. So do you find that easy, or do you find that you come home sometimes and it's like, oh, gosh, I, like, Both. things are messed up. Both. Okay. So, like, I really try, like, when it's peak crazy garden season. Yeah. Um, I Which is when? Tell it, uh, ignorance. No, non-farmer, okay, so you're gonna gardener. Start, <laughs> yeah, you're going to start planting after the last frost. So, de- again, depending on where you live. Yeah. Here it's, you know, end of January. I mean, end of January. <laughs> Wrong. End of April, beginning of May, you know, you get okay. everything in okay. in that time. Um, and then things start to kind of really produce start of end of May, start of June. And then you go until literally tomatoes will go until November. Yes. Peppers till Do y'all till eat uh, like everything off or do you give something? Mean, is there too much? Like, yeah. I feel like I, I have mean, some friends that are like, oh my gosh, I have all yeah, these cherry I think tomatoes. It depends. Like, I like. Tomatoes, I can and freeze, so those yes. get put away. I don't have abundance. I have three teenagers, and then they all come with teenagers. So, like, I have a house full that there's not enough. Yes, you know, yes. We still even have to supplement things from, you know, just sure. because we just don't. Totally. We, we eat it. And, and we eat a lot of fruits and vegetables in our house. So Yes. Today, we're talking about things we need to stop wasting $20 on. Baby shoes. Mm-hmm. They're babies. They're not walking around. Don't buy shoes for them. Lottery tickets. Yeah, the Powerball jackpot. You got one in 292 million chances of winning, so don't waste your money. An Olaf waffle maker. I mean, pretty dang cute. I know. And the results? Adorable, but let it go. Wipe warmers. Yeah, the baby's going to survive. Keep your $20. Clothes for your pets. I mean, super cute, fabulous, bougie all the things, but you don't need to spend $20 on it. Guys, these things are totally unnecessary. What I do need to make sure I'm taken care of are these guys. I remember when Winston and I first got married and we talked about life insurance. Honestly, it was easy for us to talk about because we wanted to keep each other covered in case the worst were to ever happen. That's why we have term life insurance through Xander Insurance. It's $20 to $30 a month that I am more than happy to spend. Xander shops the top-rated term life insurance companies to make sure that they find you the best rates for the coverage that your family needs. You can have the same peace of mind that we have. So go to xander.com to get started today. Don't waste any more time. Okay, I know you're not like a nutritionist by trade, but there's something to be said. Yeah, there's something to be said, Mm -hmm. though, about, Mm -hmm. you know, the idea of growing mm-hmm. your own food, mm-hmm. the nutrition behind it, because mm-hmm. we can go all down that rabbit trail mm-hmm. of what's in our food and all of that, which I'm the worst. I'm I'm so guilty of like, I need to, I, I do, I need to do better. <laughs> uh, but do you feel bad? Like, is there a thing where like, I feel better because I eat more veg? I I eat more of these things mm-hmm. that are homegrown, mm-hmm. right? There's not you all know this what's stuff in funny? it. Funny, I was um, thinking about this a couple years ago because I was like, well, everyone's like, oh, your passion of gardening, and I'm like. Gardening is not my passion. Like, and it was like, but then I was like, well, why, why are they saying that? And why do I like kind of recoil? Like, gardening is not my passion. Uh And I was like, what is it that I do? And it was, and it was, now hear this word, but like, don't like judge it yet. Like, self sufficiency. Not in the like, I can control and I'm like, it's only me, but it's actually self sufficiency in like, learning to do, like learning to be able to make my own food. Like I love that. That is the part that I love. I love a hard situation. And then I have to go, okay, what do I need to do and pivot? Like that, that's my passion, right? Uh So like for me in the growing process, it's okay, this is what I need to do. Oh shoot. We have this kind of bug. How do I pivot? Okay. This, or, oh shoot, this is a fungus. How do I pivot? Oh, this, you know, so that aspect of it, it's actually not, I love the food. I'm a cook. So I love that, you know, like delicious nutritional stuff but it's it's really that like there's like a problem solving it's element problem to it that you're like I have to like, use my yes, brain to like and I'm figure capable it out. and I got yeah, it so I love that isn't that funny? I kind of feel like a badass yeah, <laughs> <I'm 
I was like, I really food. like, I, I mean, yes, I garden, but that's not like, you know, I'm not like yeah, a. Yeah, totally. No, I hear that's that. That's interesting. Yeah. Yes. So, and I think that's interesting too, because I think for a lot of women, like there's a lot of working moms yeah. that, that listen and watch the show. And there is something real. Okay, I'm using my brain over here mm-hmm. at work. Or if you are a full-time stay-at-home mom and you're, well, you're with your kids. And constant, yeah. Yes, your, your brain. But I'm like, to have like a like a new thing, uh-huh. kind of niche, like there is something that's so, um, it's energizing. It's energizing. To say you and can switch that, that on. I, cause so many people are like, oh, I have a black thumb. I'm like, well, no, you don't have a black thumb. You just aren't learning, right? Yeah. Like, you don't have a black thumb. You yes. just are not trying to learn what it's going to take to do it. So I really feel like for me, um, I'm trying to think of this past year, there was, I'm sure, a million things, but a plant that like, like my carrots, I didn't do a great job at making sure that the soil that I was putting them was loose. They really like loose soil. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have a huge harvest of carrots. Yep. But I learned, okay, why did that not grow? And so I feel like, well, it wasn't a loss. It wasn't a failure because I actually learned from it. So if I'm yes. learning from it, then I'm like, this. it's success. Like, yes. So I think a lot of people diminish and go, oh, I can't do that because I am I kill Screwed a house up, plant. That, uh-huh. Well, okay, but why did you kill the house plant? Let's figure that out. Did you overwater? Did you underwater? Did, you know, yes, like, did it yes. not have food? Or, you know, yes, so totally. just all that stuff I feel— uh, goes back to yes. that learning and uh-huh. that figuring it out thing. Well, where can people learn how to do this stuff? Like, do you like watch YouTube video? Like, what's yeah, your thing? Yeah, can I give like actual? Yes, like, okay. I'm so, curious. I love a couple places. Uh, I love finding people that are local and following them, just because you kind of know. Oh, they're actually putting their things in. So you know, so different. Uh, farms and stuff that you can find local. Yes. But I love the Old Farmer's Almanac. Oh, it is yeah. like grandma, but they have an email that comes out every day, and they have videos, endless videos, endless videos. Oh, it's so good. Uh-huh, the yeah. Old Farmer's Almanac. Yes. Literally. Like, Anything that predicts weather. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> yes. 100%. But so they good. have such a good social media, such a good, like, that really goes into detail. Yeah. Um, so anything, if I get stuck or a pest or, and honestly, Google on YouTube, like, just just Googling, like, white, fuzzy, you know, insect the size of a, you know. Totally. Describing and, it on yeah, Google. Yeah, and then and it, it pops up. And so the yes. internet, like, nowadays is yes. incredible. Yes. So, so helpful. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. Okay. I want to know. Okay. I'm an herb Person. Oh. So when I do cook, yeah. which is like kind of fickle, okay. sometimes I'll get on sure. a really good track and then other times you not know. as much. But I do love, I love thyme. Uh-huh. I love herbs. Yeah. Like the flavor uh-huh. of that. So what's easier to grow? Like actual like fruit and vegetables or herbs? Are herbs easy? They're the same. It is? Yeah. It's the same thing. Okay. I think, um, I think people's problem with herbs is a couple. One is they don't know the season. Like so many people grow, try to grow cilantro with the tomatoes. But cilantro right now is starting to grow and thrive in the cold weather. It is a cold weather plant. Oh. So here these people are putting it in at the heat of summer, and that plant is going to flower. It's not going to produce leaves. So, like, you have to know what plant, yes. you know, before you give up again. Uh, but basil is a huge, right? Basil takes a little work because you have to cut off the flowers for it to keep growing. But if you don't want anything like rosemary, thyme, sage, mint, all those. Is mint? Mint is crazy because mint um, spreads. So you want to put it in a container. Okay. Like, otherwise, you're going to have mint roots everywhere, everywhere okay. which is fine if you, you want. You want a lot of mint. But, <laughs> but it, it does, it becomes a weed. Um, but the other ones like sage and rosemary, like those actually can be like ornamental plants. They can be in your landscape and not even have it be in your garden. Oh, it could yeah. actually be something because they produce beautiful flowers. You can shape them. So I love it. Yeah. Okay. So for people that they think, oh, that sounds so great. Mm-hmm. I don't have time to garden, but the idea of just like living off the land, I want mm-hmm. that. So when I go to the grocery store. Okay. Can I buy, do I have to buy organic? Uh You know, that whole, or I feel like the whole organic and not is a constant battle because the price difference is major. It's huge. You you Mm -hmm. feel it and you see that and you never know like when to compromise, when Mm -hmm. not to, like what advice do you have around that? Yeah, I think if you Google um, like top things to buy organically, fruits, like I don't know them off the top of my head. It's it's mostly going to be the things that don't have appeal. Like so an orange and a banana, I would, I would, choose non-organic those opposed to a potato or something that is just 
seeping in. Yeah. So, um, but the reality is, you know, I started at volunteering because I wanted organic and I couldn't afford it. Yeah. So, like, so you can do something like that. Or if you don't have the time to do that, just buy the fruits and vegetables because that's, like, you need that nutrition. You need that for your body to be healthy. Um, and as your body is healthy, it's going to be able to actually counter yes. some of those so. bad things. So yep. ultimately, yes, obviously organic straight from the land is going to be the best. Um befriend somebody that has a garden. Befriend, talk to a local, you know, talk to your people around Even farmers markets. Farmers yeah. markets. Yeah. Like it's just it's really the added benefit of getting that soil rich um, you know, the <laughs> the the organisms and stuff that come in the soil that you're not going to get that in the non-organic. And it's like having your own, um, what do you have? A probiotic. You oh, know? yes. Like yes. you're getting, when you eat off the land like that, you are getting all those great. Um, all your vitamins. The vitamins. The vitamins and, yeah. and nutrition and the actual, you know, things that help your gut yep. be healthy. So all that is just those little details Ultimately, eat your fruits and vegetables. Yes. But as much as you can, where you can, choose organic. Yeah, I guess. So good. Yeah. So helpful, I Heather. So I love I, I'm I, so excited for you. I know. I can't I wait too. to help plan. <laughs> Winston mentioned composting too. And I was like, oh my gosh, are we like, yeah. we're doing it. We're doing it. So yeah, I know. Soon, he loves chickens and goats. I mean, you're going to just have it bring all. It all. <laughs> I, I really am excited though. And, it's, and for me, I'm like, it's a thing too, to mm-hmm. have like a element of a, not just with Winston. Yeah. But I'm like, okay, there's like something else there besides, yeah. you know. And so we, every role. we really like I spend time, like I pour in, I'll spend a day, but then I go off on vacation for a week and then I come back and I spend yes. a day. And for me, my honest thing is like it is for fun. I'm taking off all pressure. If I choose to go to California to visit family and I miss the the harvest of the raspberries. It's going to be so okay. What? Yes. So what? Yes. You know what I mean? So, like, that's really how I approach it. So I don't it's have good. the stress and this, like, oh, you know. Totally. Ta- taking yeah. the success failure off the table yeah. and just mm-hmm. doing it. And when you can do it and it's, it's so there, fun. it's there. It's so fun. I love it. So yeah. great. Heather, thanks for coming on. Always. You guys can check out The Wit Farm on Instagram, which is so great, so fun. And, yeah, always appreciate you thanks. being here. And hopefully this, fun. this helps you guys and it motivates you to say, okay, what could I do mm-hmm. outside of my norm to— save money, number one, mm-hmm. but also to have this thing, right? And this idea that, yeah, you can grow your own food. It's yeah. healthier, economical, all things. It's a win-win. So I uh, hope that this episode helped you guys. Remember to take control of your money and create a life you love. <laughs> <laughs>